and we're back all right today's video we're going to be changing the coil packs on the echo tech 2.4 liter pontiac g6 here 2007 model and i think it's the same engine through the the run of the g6 cars so we're going to be popping these coil packs shouldn't take that long it's not that hard of a job 10 millimeter and then a pick and a screwdriver should be able to see those okay and then what we're going to do is we have to pop the retainers back the car's a little hot too my son just got home with it all right there's one and then this squeeze here and pops right off and we'll go to the next one here work our way down the line i'm going to get all the, the wiring off first this one there we go put the little retainers up there again you're gonna squeeze the tab and pull very good go to the next one work our way down the line here okay and pop and one more all right that's four retainers and four plugs off. Yeah, next order of business. Gonna run the screws out. Again, they're 10 millimeter. This ratchet's extremely handy. Uh, John from Boosted Motorsports had one for the longest time, worked very well. So I saw that and I said, you know what? I want one of those damn things. All right. Pull this off here. There we go. Very good. So we got our replacement coil packs right here. Okay, you see it's exactly the same. O-ring on that's a little bit beat down, as you can see there. There's a new one there. When you run it down, it seals up tight. So the only thing we have to do now is throw some dielectric grease on there. So, and what I do is we do this. Take it, put a little swipe here like so. And then what I always do, take a Q-tip and run it around like that just like so and that's the first one here we'll get that down in place and again you always want to start your start your screws as i always tell you in every video we start everything by hand so you don't cross thread and then we can run this down snug partial turn ready to rock okay so number one is done that goes there and you just slide your retainer back in so it doesn't pop off and that's how easy it is so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to dielectric grease each coil pack so they're ready to go i know i'm off camera but i showed you how to do one so this way you guys can see here we'll show you again how to do the second one okay same thing splotch dielectric and again you take the q-tip and smear it around there nice that's what i always do with it all right so this way they'll all be set up and ready to pop in so i'm just going to go down the line going to yank them out and they'll be good to go and of course we'll save the old coil packs um issue he's having is every once in a while he gets a check engine light and they said that it could be a coil pack starting to go bad so we're just gonna go down the line okay that looks good in there the plugs are new so i did those right at a hundred thousand because they're hundred thousand mile plugs the iridiums that are in this car from the factory all right the next one bit of a turn again and we'll get the next one here 
one at a time. The dielectric grease helps them to come back apart. So that's another reason why you always want to add that to it. Okay, that one. And again, always start them by hand. And you can see how quick this is going. This is not a hard job at all. Turn. But yeah, he's got this intermittent check engine light. And one of the things it said was it could be a coil pack. So since these have over 110,000 miles on them, he figured, all right, I'm just going to buy a set and you'll pop. Can you put them on? I'm like, yeah, of course. As I always do most of his work on his cars here. Okay. There and there's that. So now we plug them in. Simple and easy. And then again, you got your retainers. One, two, and three. And that's it. So they're on. So again, that's all it takes to do the job. So now we're going to start it up real quick, make sure it's okay. All right, there we go. Four brand new coil packs, ready to rock. And he's got to go through inspection, so we got to make sure there's no more check engine light with the vehicle. So. Very good, sounds good. So I'm gonna take the old coil packs, I'll pack them away, and we always got them for spare. That way they're ready, because they're the genuine GMs, but again, they had 111,000, I think it is right now, so. All right, you guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helps you out. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. But you see how quick it is to change your own coil packs. It took me however long this video is. Actually a little less because I talk. So, but that's it. I mean, it's not a hard job. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.